Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Thank you guys for joining me once again. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Call of Duty does weapon balancing now compared to back then, how there should be no real meta weapon and just meta weapons in general on social media and how creators and news articles and just social media accounts always say that they have the most meta weapon or the best meta weapon to use. I'm going to be talking about all that. But before we get into that, if you guys haven't yet, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. We post daily Call of Duty videos every day. Enjoy my Discord server down below. But without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty. So now Activision, Call of Duty, whoever's doing the weapon balancing, whatever dev team's doing it. The way they do it now is that they nerf and buff multiple things in one update. For some reason, some of the nerfs or buffs make literally no sense. Like, for example, a nerf that just made no sense was the BP-50 getting nerfed to three to five times before the MCW even got touched. And this was for months from the BP getting added all the way to now. It's had like three to five nerfs. It's had its buffs here and there, but the nerfs have been super more significant and the overall changes that the BP-50 has had have literally all been nerfs. And literally before they changed the BP-50 again with a little nerf, they decided to nerf the MCW. I don't know what's going on with Call of Duty's mind when they're trying to nerf the same weapon three to five times before they actually nerf the genuine meta and problem. Like the buffs and nerfs that Call of Duty nowadays make absolutely no sense. You could be using the most random weapon like the KV Inhibitor right? That sniper rifle, that trash sniper rifle. And then one update, they just nerfed the crap out of it, but nobody's using it. I feel like Call of Duty should be doing their weapon balancing off of the usage and how broken the gun is. Like, and I'm genuinely asking this, if any Call of Duty developer, whoever does weapon balancing, do you guys genuinely know how boring it is to play against the same weapon every single time? Not dying by it, but to play with it, to play against it, it's super boring. That's what make Modern Warfare 2 2022 super boring. It was just Attac 56 and the Vazdev and the MP5. And now in Modern Warfare 3 2023, the buffs and nerfs make no sense. It could be on random guns that are barely used, that are not even in the meta technically, that don't get a ton of kills, all that stuff, and that are just weaker against other guns. And they'll keep like the MCW, the Rival 9, They'll, they'll keep buffing it or just not touching it at all. It makes no sense. Comparing how Call of Duty does weapon balancing now, Compared to back then, it's like complete. Once again, night and day, dude. This is what they used to do for weapon balancing back then around the golden age of Call of Duty from like COD 4 all the way over to like before Ghost, right? Every gun in the game, no matter if it was a pistol, a rocket launcher, sniper, shotgun, AR, SMG, LMG, whatever you want to call it. Hell, even a marksman rifle. And that wasn't even a category back in the day. Every weapon in Call of Duties and past Call of Duties was usable. There was no clear meta. You didn't have to follow the meta. You could literally use whatever you want. And that's probably the biggest thing that I miss from old Call of Duties because I can deal with skill-based magic. I can deal with cheaters. I can deal with unlock tools. I can deal with all that stuff. But what I can't deal with is having to follow what everyone else is doing and not being able to use the weapons that I genuinely like or want to give a shot. Back then, every weapon was usable. It would have different amounts of damage, different amounts of bullets, different amount of attachments. It would perform different feel different from every weapon, but no matter what weapon you used, it was usable and you could still beat out players with any weapon. The only time weapons in past Call of Duties were overpowered was when they added a DLC weapon and they just made it too strong and they would patch that stuff immediately. Nowadays, they take literally a couple of weeks to a month to nerf or bust something that's been the meta. Look at the HRM9. It was the meta in Warzone for about two and a half seasons or whenever it was added to now where in season three reloaded, it got nerfed for once. Old Call of Duty somehow had a perfect formula for literally everything, skill-based matchmaking, team balancing, and weapon balancing especially. Active, I don't know how the dev teams in Activision seem to just have everything messed up nowadays when we have better technology, better gamers, better hardware, better everything, bro. And I think another huge reason why I dislike following the meta or how weapon balancing is nowadays is because it is so annoying to find a new meta before an update, after an update. The way to find a new meta, if you don't want to watch YouTube videos, right, which I'll get into down the road, the way you find a new meta is literally finding guns in the patch notes that got buffed or didn't get changed at all and using them for a couple of games. I don't understand, like, why I would have to do that. Like, I, w I just want to use any gun that I want. I shouldn't be having to try out all these different weapons just to be able to compete against other people in multiplayer and Warzone. And if we are including having to find the meta through YouTube or social media, that's... I'm, I'm getting even more annoyed when I'm talking about it now. I don't know why I have to take like 10, 15 minutes out of my day, out of my gaming session 
to search up what is the meta, what got changed, and all that stuff, man. Because the patch notes, they're incorrect still. They're still incorrect. They're not, they're not, they're never going to fix it, right? So you got to check the actual source because it's actually people play the game and making sure that shit actually works. But I don't want to waste 10 to 15 minutes trying to figure out what the new meta is, listening to some YouTuber. I don't, I don't want to do that. I just want to play the game. Like, it's just so annoying to search up new best meta in Modern Warfare 3, Warzone new best meta it's just so annoying i don't want to do that i just want to load up into the game use whatever weapon i want to use and have a fair chance a fair fight every single time i don't want to be using all the pros with all the sweats all these people are using man i'm a sweat as well in warzone and multiplayer I'm like i'm not complaining about the pros using the most metal loadout i get why they do it because they're competing for money i'm not complaining about people using the meta i'm complaining about activision forcing everyone to use a certain weapon for ARs, SMGs, everything. And then a majority of people have to search up on YouTube, waste time on YouTube and on social media during their gaming session to find out what the meta is. If every weapon was perfectly balanced and was usable and was a fair fight every time, we wouldn't have to search up what's the best loadout. We wouldn't have to watch videos. We could literally only play the game and figure out which weapons we like and what the attachments we like with that weapon. Like there's literal websites for you to find the newest meta to find the balances and all that stuff, which they do really do work. All these YouTube videos that people make, all these websites that people update and post articles on about the new meta and stuff, it helps. But we should not be wasting time on doing this at all, man. Because literally in the past for Call of Duty, every weapon was perfectly balanced and usable. There was no meta. There shouldn't be a meta. Everything should be balanced. Everything should be usable. Everything should be fair. Every fight should be fair. And just to really staple this down, I don't care that other people are using the metal weapons. All I care about is how Call of Duty does their weapon balancing from now on. There's no need for anybody with the most time in the world to limited time to be spending 10 to 15 minutes every update after little changes to weapons to search up from YouTube videos, websites, all that stuff. There's no need to do that. I just really hope Call of Duty fixes how they balance weapons, man, because it's just so annoying to see how we had it perfected years ago and now it's just completely ru now and now it's just and now it's just completely ruined another thing i want to talk about which i have been seeing a lot of people talk about recently on youtube how oversaturated call of duty meta weapon youtube videos and posts is bro listen i've done the best meta class setups before i'm not gonna lie you have someone that did those kind of videos in the past talk about them they're they're fun to make right because if it's actually a genuinely good class and it's going to be a fun video to make but literally every one of their moms are posting class setup videos and it makes no sense to post it's not even that i dislike the people that are making it so many people are doing it you don't actually know if it's actually meta or not or they're just trying to get you a get you a click for them if i'm a player man and I want to find out the meta. Just go to an article like Charlie Intel. That's who I use mainly. And or J God. Because it's not just straight. Oh, use this weapon. And then it's just like 20 minutes of, of gameplay. So they just farm you for money. It's just quick and simple, man. You could also enjoy that kind of content. But there's a reason why a lot of those YouTubers that make the best metal weapon class setups are posting literally every couple hours. It's because it gets no views and it's oversaturated and they're all competing against one another. They can do what they want to do, but I, I'm just saying right now, half of them aren't even that good. 80% of them VPN. So they're all cheaters, okay? But I feel like the majority of players really just want to use any weapon that they actually like and actually find fun to use rather than following the meta. Everyone gets bored of using and fighting against the same weapon. Everyone gets bored of using the same attachments, all that stuff. Call of Duty needs to find a better way to balance weapons from now on because it's getting absolutely ridiculous how the patch notes are wrong. Some things are just completely broken for multiple weeks to up to a month before the next major update. It's getting ridiculous out here, but it's been your boy Limelo, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.